Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a clone effect like this. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create this clone effect here in effect house. For this, we have to create a segmentation. For this, we go to add object, then we go to segmentation and here we select the portrait segmentation. This comes already with a background, but we don't need it for this filter. So we just set the visibility off for this background. Now we go down to portrait and now we right click on it and duplicate it. Now we have two segmented portraits, but we can't see them now here on the screen. So when we open here the scene in the middle and then just select the portrait we have duplicated and then drag this to the left or to the right, we can see that we have duplicated ourselves. Now we have one duplicate, but we want two. So again, we go to the left hand side, then we duplicate this portrait again. So right click duplicate and then select it and drag it to the other side. And now we have two duplicates. At the moment, the duplicates are in front of our original picture. If you want to have them behind, just change the order here on the left hand side. So portrait one goes behind the portrait and portrait two also goes behind the portrait. And now the clones are in yeah, at the back of us. Of course, you can do more portraits, just duplicate it and change the position here on the screen. And you can also have a background replacement going on. So just activate for this the background again, and you now have a clone effect with a yeah, background. Or if you don't want the background and just the clones, just disable the visibility. And yeah, this was all the magic about a clone effect here in Effect House. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new on this channel and you don't want to miss any new videos here, just yeah, subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.